everyone. Uh, wanted to put a video out. Uh, just give you guys an update. Um, was going to be working on getting some more content out, start editing the, the Jeff Melton video. If I get the time, I'm probably going to try to get the, the debate with Jeff Melton up over on Rockfin pretty soon. Um, but I might not have some content coming out here for a bit. Uh, just a lot going on. Um, I found out I'll be back into some of the third shift stuff again. Um, so I've got that on my plate. And also, if you've been following uh, the channel, you know about uh, the fact that I just had the litter of puppies, which I'll come back to that in just a minute. But um, touch on something else here real quick. Uh, if you follow me over on Twitter, you're going to see that I put up a tweet last night uh, referencing a cop. So tell a little story on that real quick, you know, because with everything that's going on right now, law enforcement is a uh, pretty hot topic, a pretty controversial topic. Um, there's probably a lot of people I know who watch the channel who are not a fan of cops, really don't like them. Um, I'm not a bootlicker by any means, but I'm not one of the type who demonizes the police. Um, I know a lot of people, uh, friends of mine who went into law enforcement, they're good people. They mean well. Uh, does the system need reform? Absolutely. And that that leads me into my story from last night. So South Carolina passed a law back in August, right? Said uh, move right. What it pertains to are the people who get out on the road and they uh, get in that far left-hand lane. They get in that hammer lane and they drag ass. Now, obviously, you're not supposed to be speeding on the road anyway. You get a speed ticket for that. But pretty much everybody uh, in the left-hand lane is always doing 5 to 10, usually, over the speed limit. Or they're trying to. Now, the left-hand lane is supposed to be for passing slower traffic anyway, right? But you're So, if you're already slower traffic, you're not supposed to be in that lane. Well, they finally passed a law that said it would be prohibited. Um and I vaguely remember hearing about it. But then last night, on my way to work, uh, I'm going down I-85 South in South Carolina. And I'm in that left-hand lane. Now, I'm doing around 67, but it's nighttime. There's no one behind me. I'm still doing 7 miles per hour over the speed limit, which could have gotten me a speeding ticket for that alone. But I see a state trooper off on the side of the highway. She's got the blue lights on. She, you know, I thought maybe she just pulled someone over. No, she was just finishing up with a ticket, okay? So me and you see a lot of other cars. Everybody hits the brake lights. We're slowing down. Like, oh, we're not going to go flying past the, the, the cop over here, right? So right as we get near where she was at, she's pulling back out onto the highway. Now, I'm standing in the left-hand lane. I'm passing uh, some of the slower tractor trailers who've you know, lost a lot of speed from trying to go uphill and whatnot. So I'm trying to pass, uh, those people. Right. So we start, uh, we, we start, you know, passing the trucks. I'm in the left-hand lane. There's no cars behind me. Okay. But I'm only doing about 63 now. Now again, speed limit's 60. Okay. So I'm still doing three miles per hour over technically speeding. If she really wanted to be a pain, she could pull me over for that. But I'm making sure my speed is not passing what she's doing on the highway. Okay, and at the time, I don't know it's a woman, but I find that out soon enough. Okay, so I'm making sure I don't go past her. I'm like, if I pass her, then she's probably clocking what her speed is. You know, she can get over in behind me and uh, pull me over. I don't want a speed ticket, so I'm not going to go past her. But we're still both passing people in the center lane. She's just passing them on the right. No one behind me. Now, the South Carolina law about moving right dictates that if you are going slower, you're not supposed to just ride in the left-hand lane anyway. If someone's coming up your tail that's doing more faster than you, you're supposed to move over. Well, I'm already doing what the top speed limit allows anyway. There's no cars behind me. One car comes from the far right lane behind where she was at a little ways back, and he's speeding up now. And he's probably not paying any attention to the fact that's a state trooper's car. So he is really doing some speeding. I'm already doing three miles per hour over. He flies up my uh, my bumper, okay? And I don't speed up 
because if I start speeding up, one of us is probably going to get blue lighted by this woman, right? But we're coming up on another car in the middle and I'm like, okay, let me just get past this car. I'll get over. I'll let him out of my way. And if he gets blue lighted, so be it. He doesn't give me the chance. There was enough room for him to cut out, hammer down on the gas some more, speed up, and then cut around me and cut back in. Now, I'm already doing three miles per hour over. So for him to do that in that short distance, he easily had to be accelerated up to five to 10 over. Easily a speeding ticket violation, right? Now, the cop wasn't behind us. She's still over to my side, but a little bit in front of us, right? Okay. So as soon as he cuts out and goes around me, he's easily got to be doing five to 10 over the speed limit. If she was looking at her own speedometer, she would have saw me and her were kind of right at the same place, keeping up with each other because I'm not going to go flying past her. Okay. But we're still past cars. So she would know she was doing the speed limit. So for him to do what he did, he would have had to been speedy. Anybody with half sense could figure that out. Instead of going after him for speeding, one car goes behind me. This law is to prevent people from holding up traffic in the left-hand lane. That it is only supposed to be used for a passing lane. I am passing people in the center lane. There were no cars bottlenecked behind me. One car got behind me who was trying to speed. And instead of pulling him over for a speeding violation... She immediately hits the brakes, goes in behind me, and throws her blue lights on me. And I'm not even thinking about this left-hand lane shit at this point because I, I haven't been holding up traffic, okay? I'm thinking, I'm like, she seriously has been trying to clock what my speed is and I'm doing like 63, so she's going to hop in behind me and put the blue lights on for doing three miles an hour over and he just did that? you're pulling me over that's what i'm thinking i'm like what the fuck kind of you know ridiculous shit is this so she pulls me over now i'm being held up on my way to work and she comes over to my window <laughs> and informs me that she is pulling me over because the new law in south carolina dictates you are not allowed to ride in the left-hand lane and hold up traffic and that's what I was doing. That is bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. This was nothing but some ticket happy fucking cop with nothing better to do than get out on the main road and harass drivers. You literally had someone who was doing five to 10 over, easily a speeding ticket. If you're that fucking damn happy to write tickets, why didn't you bust that person? And, and, and again, I had one car get behind me and went around because they were speeding. So you're literally taking this law and stretching it as far as you can. Furthermore than that, when they passed me, you didn't even give me the chance at that point to move over. So the law says you're not supposed to be doing it continuously. I was in the process of passing another car, which I'm allowed to do in that lane. If I noticed that there were people passing around me, I am then supposed to move over because I'm the slower traffic. I had one car. You didn't even give me a chance after that to move over. As soon as he did it, you hit the brakes, hop in behind me and throw the blue lights on. You're doing nothing but looking for someone to harass and write tickets so you can meet your little fucking ticket quotas. That is the kind of jackass that gives other cops a bad name. The people who are just out there to serve and protect, you're giving those people a bad name because you're nothing but a fucking slime ball who wants to write tickets to try to make it look like she's doing such a grand job on patrolling the highways. Bullshit. There are people who go slow as hell in that lane all the time. Instead of waiting for those people, you're going to harass me because one fucking car went around. It's like, ooh, there's a ticket. And literally, you just finished writing someone a damn ticket. I don't know what for. Maybe their ticket was more justified than the one you gave me. But you just finished writing someone a ticket. And then in less than five minutes, hell, probably not even two to three minutes, now you're pulling over someone else to write a ticket. 
This was nothing but someone who wanted to get out on the road, be able to wave their badge and their authority around to fucking harass people, write tickets, and collect fucking money. Okay? And then brought her little fucking ticket back over to my car, which it's zero points off my license. So it may or may not affect my car insurance now, which me and my wife have been working on to try and get down. Uh, Our age doesn't help the price of insurance. So we've been working on trying to get that down, right? So because it's no points, they may or may not see it. If they see it, then it's liable to screw up her insurance because now there's another fucking ticket on our record. Now insurance premiums are going back up. So now you're putting more financial strain on me because you want to be a fucking jackass. While there's plenty of drivers out there who drive reckless as hell, break all kinds of rules on the road, you're going to stretch the law that far just to fuck with me. And that's pretty fucked up. And I'm not the only one. It's happened to a lot of people. And that's my point. She's the type of cop that gives the rest who are just out there trying to do a good job. She's the type that gives them a bad name and sparks a lot of this hate and outrage towards the cops. She's the type of person that should not be on the fucking force. Period. Okay? She shouldn't be. She's got nothing better to do than that. She should go be a, a, a fucking little mall cop security guard and stick to that fucking shit. Matter of fact, no, you probably shouldn't have been doing that either because your little ass is going to let that shit go to your fucking head uh, and you'll end up with a fucking lawsuit for that. I know the type. I used to be a security guard uh, doing mall cop type shit, right? So I know what type of people don't need that type of job because they let the shit go to their head too much. She is the epitome of that, okay? So literally, she's going to bring her little ticket back over the window and it's no points off your license. It's a $25 fine. The court date is uh, this date in January at 10 a.m. Now, you can go online or go up to the courthouse and pay the ticket early and then you won't have to appear in court that day and I just ever so politely responded to her. Don't worry, I'll be there. So my plan is I'm going to challenge it. Uh, whether it'll do me any good or not, who knows? Worst thing that can happen is they tell me pay the fine. But in my opinion, that's someone just out there harassing drivers. Uh, furthermore than that, I'm going to challenge it under the uh, basic you know, argument of provide the proof that that's what I was doing. Because you got a dash cam in the dash of that car. If you had got behind me, you could have tailed me for any length of time. There could have been footage of what I'm doing, right? But you're not going to have that footage. Because number one, you didn't give me a chance to correct it when someone did fly up my butt and went around me. You didn't give me a chance to move before you jumped in behind me and blue lighted me. Number two, um, there was nobody else. I was not holding up traffic. One person who was breaking the law of themselves by speeding uh, came up, and again, you didn't give me a chance to move over. So if I'm going to be afforded being innocent till proven guilty, then I would then challenge whoever is there from the highway patrol to provide the proof that that's what I was doing and not simply passing other cars because that's what I was doing. Now, the likelihood that I'm actually going to be afforded my constitutional right of being innocent till they can prove my guilt slim to none which is screwed up because that shows a problem with our judicial system these cops have body cameras they've got dash cameras that could easily prove what I was or was not doing and I guarantee you there's probably going to be no one there to present such evidence even if they show up to try and present evidence that ain't going to be on a dash cam because I wasn't fucking doing it but a judge is probably still going to say pay the fine which is fucked up. So they're out there literally doing nothing but leeching fucking money off people for ticket money to go towards fucking city hall, which is utter bullshit. So you're just gonna, you know, get out there to harass drivers on the road trying to go to their fucking job so you can suck more money out of their pockets going into Christmas time, which also leads me to this. And this is the sad news, okay? Right now is not a good time for me to be having to pay out unnecessary money on some shit. So if you've been following the channel, you know that I just made an investment 
buying a building and bought some supplies to set up a new studio because me and the wife are looking at having kids sometime within the next year or so. You know that uh, I've been talking about that. I've kind of shown the inside of the building. I'm getting stuff done. I'm getting it set up. And in the midst of all this, while I've made this purchase, uh, we just had these seven puppies and they seem to be perfectly healthy up to this point. But on Monday, our, uh, our one male uh, fell ill. I found him uh, in the house having seizures, okay? And he was having a lot of seizures, okay? Um, they say if they've had more than one within a 24-hour period, that is enough to require a trip to the vet. This poor little guy, he's only five weeks old. And he had probably 10 before my wife got back home and we were able to take him to the vet. I mean, and it was, it was terrible. Well, we took the rest because we thought they might have gotten into uh, some, uh, some Fabuloso, that purple cleaner you use for mopping the floor. And if they got into it, they wouldn't have got into it uncut. Um, it would have been already heavily diluted with water. And immediately I looked it up and it's not supposed to be toxic dogs that's why i'm not sure exactly what's caused this because every one of the other puppies were fine and if he got in it they were all in it because when uh, i came out i saw where they turned it over it looked like they might have been right at the puddle so but again it was heavily diluted with water it's not even supposed to be toxic to dogs so we don't know but then about 30 40 minutes later i found him having those seizures we got him to the vet. They they put an IV in him. They ran stuff through him. Needless to say, it was uh, we took all of them. It was seventy five dollars to monitor the rest of the puppies. By the time they were done with him that night, it was right at three hundred dollars that we had to pay out for what they did for him. Um, they sent us home with some medicine that night. They said he hadn't been having seizures, but then we get to the vet. We go look at him, and he's and he's having seizures. It's like y'all said he wasn't having this no more. So he had probably, I would say, just on Monday alone, I would say probably 20 seizures, which is bad. I mean, 20, 20 seizures, that's, that's, that's pretty pitiful, okay? So I would say he probably had that, and that's, that's really not good for a puppy his age. And then we cannot get him to eat or drink anything on his own right now. He started doing better on Tuesday. I was monitoring. We we're having to take, like, syringe and give him food orally because he's not eating it on his own. But then last night, he started having the seizures again. We got seizure medication for him yesterday morning from the vet. Uh, my wife started giving it to him last night. Wasn't doing any good. By the time uh, you know, I got home this morning, we had to take him to the vet again. He was uh, still having seizures really bad. He was having seizures by the time he got to the vet. They wanted to keep him to watch him again. So you know, if, if he comes out of there again today, you could be looking at another two to three hundred dollar bill again potentially because they already had to give him some more medication and give him some fluids to try to get him hydrated and this and that because he's just not eating or drinking on his own so we're already running up big debt and bills with this vet right now uh trying to treat our pup and get him back to health because i mean he's a strong little guy and we're trying to do what we can for him so it's just in the middle of that you know that's bad enough and and all i ask for people is you know send him the the best wishes you can uh if you follow this channel uh i'm asking that favor send him the best wishes if you're religious uh pray for him if you're not just send him all the the positive energy that you can um you know the little guy is gonna need it right now because he's he's got it pretty rough at the moment but you, you know you think about that and then you think of in terms of You've got that going on in your personal life. You're approaching the holiday season. You know, people trying to get their Christmas shopping in. And then some fucking prick like that lady is going to get out there just to harass drivers so she can write her fucking little traffic tickets over some bullshit. And there hasn't been one person I've talked to yet and told that story that agreed. Oh, yeah, she probably did the right thing. You deserve that ticket. Everybody knows she's just out there being a pain in people's ass writing tickets and it's funny as fuck because when she gave me that damn ticket you know she's like you can pay it early and then you want to go to court and I was like oh don't worry I'll be there and she's like oh, excuse me like she wasn't expecting me to say what I said and I'm like I said don't worry I'll be there 
Now, I'm sorry. I ain't going to take that shit laying down. Again, what's the worst fucking thing they can do to me? Uh, you know, tell me to pay a $25 ticket and then I've just got to deal with it? Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. But uh, it was a bullshit ticket. Uh, you know, w w wish me luck on that too. Uh, I've got till January. But you best believe I'm going to do my due diligence when it comes to this. Okay. I'm going to do my due diligence and uh, I will be coming in there with as much evidence about the law as I can and argue it as best as I can. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm going to give it the old college try and we'll see what happens. And hopefully, uh, maybe I will be able to convince a judge that the burden of proof to prove what I did should be on her. She did not take the time to try and gather any evidence that that's what I was doing to take it to court. She just decided she was just going to be a prick and start writing tickets. Maybe I can convince a judge of it. Maybe I can't, but uh, wish me luck on that. When the time comes, I'll let you know how it turns out, and I'll, uh, I'll be able to maintain my composure. I'm not that dumb. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get myself in any trouble, so it'll either be I'll have to pay the ticket or maybe I'll get out of it. But uh, in the meantime, uh, definitely uh, send the prayers and the positive energy this way uh, for our little pup. Uh, you know, he, he's, a, he's a strong, strong little guy trying to, uh, to fight through this. And, uh, you know, the only thing that worries me, he keeps having these seizures that could cause some kind of permanent damage to him. So that's why he needs all the, all the positive energy and prayers he can get right now that he pulls through this okay. So if y'all do that, I would I would really appreciate that right now. Um, so if, you, if you got any comments, drop them in the comment box down below. And we'll see you next time right here. Take care, everyone.